boys and girls, it's Mrs. Viviano. I'm taking a break. I'm getting ready for Thanksgiving in the kitchen. Um, but I want to read to you guys a story called Twas the Night Before Thanksgiving. This story and pictures are both by Dave Pilkey. Listen to rhyming words, or listen for rhyming words when I read this story. Twas the day before Thanksgiving, and all through the trees, the fall leaves were spinning aloft in the breeze. Eight children had boarded their school bus with grins in hope that a field trip soon would begin. They sang as they rode through autumn terrains while visions of drumsticks danced in their brains. There's the drumsticks, the turkey legs. Over rivers, through woods, with winding and weaves, their school bus sailed on through the new fallen leaves. When out on the road there arose such a clatter, they threw down their windows to see what was the matter. I wonder what they heard. There's a sign here that says turkey farm with an arrow. That's a clue. I think that might be where they're going. When what with their wandering eyes should they see but a miniature farm and eight tiny turkey. And an, oh, a little old man so lively and rugged they knew in the moment it was Farmer Mac Nugget. There they are. Eight tiny turkeys. He was dressed all in denim from his head to his toe with a pinch of polyester and a dash of Velcro. And then in a twinkling they heard in the straw the prancing and pawing of each little claw. More rapid than chickens, his cockerels they came, he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Oh, what are the turkey names gonna be? Now Ollie, now Stanley, now Larry and Mo, on Wally and Beaver and Shemp and Groucho. The turkeys were chunky with smiley beaked faces and they greeted the children with downy embraces. Give them, give them big hugs. So out through the barnyard they ran and they flew and they gobbled and giggled as friends sometimes do. Look at that. They're having so much fun with those turkeys. Then somebody spotted an axe by the door and she asked Farmer, Mc, N Farmer Nugget what it was for. With a blink of his eye and a twist of his head, the old farmer told a grim tale of dread. Uh-oh. What's the axe for? Tonight, said McNugget, these feathery beasts will be chopped up and roasted for Thanksgiving feasts. The children stood still as tears filled their eyes. Then they clamored aloud in a chorus of cries. Look at that. Oh, the teacher looks a little worried. Oh, look at those kids. Oh my goodness. Oh dear, cried Mac Nugget. Now what shall I do? So he dashed to the well and the teacher went too. And they fetched some water fresh from the ground in hopes that a swig might calm everyone down. They're running up the hill to the well. Maybe the water will calm them down. And when they returned, to quiet the matter, the children were calmer and mysteriously fatter. The boys and the girls drank up their drinks in the hay and they thanked old Mac Nugget and waddled away. Well, look at them. They all look a little bit fatter. Do you see? Do you see the feathers underneath? Oh, look at their feet. What are they doing? <laughs> yeah, they're hiding those turkeys. They limped to the school bus all huffing and puffing. It's not easy to walk with hot turkey stuffing. Getting into the school bus. And then as the school bus drove off in the night, Mac Nugget looked around. Not a turkey in sight. "'Twas the night before Thanksgiving, and the stars up above shone down on the school bus, abounding with love. The very next evening, 
eight families were blessed with eight fluffy Thanksgiving turkeys as guests. They feasted on veggies with jelly and toast, and everyone was thankful the turkeys were most. You can see the eight little houses. If you look closely, you can see the turkeys in each one of those windows. So each one gave thanks for love and for living, and they all had a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving. Well, boys and girls, I hope you and your family have a wonderful Thanksgiving um, tomorrow, and I will see you guys on the computer on Monday. Have a great Thanksgiving.